Oh, it's <laughs> weather now. Hey, but uh, watch the show and be a part of a global event to yeah. do something yeah. good. All right, yes, it is time for weather, and I'm going to take my nose off so I can talk a little bit better, although not, it won't be perfect anyway. Uh, we're looking at a live picture out at Rockport. It's going to be a busy place as we get on into the Memorial Day weekend. Yes, sir. It's 80 degrees right there. The winds are at 23 miles an hour. You can see the morning cloud cover out there. Now uh, the temperatures for us are also on the warm side. 81 feels like 86 because of the heat and the humidity. Now we got up to 91 yesterday. We're probably going to do that again today and we're probably you just saw the forecast. That's going to be like that right on through uh, Monday. Well, yesterday, however, we peaked at 42 miles an hour again with the wind. Today, I'm hoping it'll be down to about 30. So it'll still be breezy because of the storms in North Texas, but at least uh, there should be a general decrease in the amount of wind that we're getting. Now, because of that wind, we still have the coastal flood advisory. So big wind bringing up those, the surf all the way to the dunes. So do be cautious, especially at high tide. Uh, for today and tomorrow. Probably by the weekend this should drop. Uh, I expect the weekend winds to be at about 25 peaking. All right, so you know, uh, 10 to 25, something like that. So it should be a little bit better as we get to the weekend. Oh, well, it's not better in the Midwest. Uh, we, we've been talking about this. Uh, all this in green is flooding all the way down here to the Texas Panhandle. All this in red right about here in St. Louis, uh, that's where the severe weather is occurring right now. But as I mentioned that, now get a load of this map. Here is Iowa, uh, and this is the April rainfall totals. So uh, Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, Iowa, all of the Midwest, St. Louis South, all those have had over six inches of rain in April, and they had more rain again today. So. Midwest flooding is in historic levels and it's affecting all the farming up there. And of course, uh, if it hadn't washed away, they hadn't even had a chance to plant and it's getting pretty late because they need 120 days and doesn't know, uh, we don't know if they're gonna be able to make it. So the Midwest not only is a flood problem, is a natural disaster, but it's a farming disaster uh, for their uh, harvest and their wheat and their crops and their corn. So looking at uh, us, we're looking at the morning cloud cover. We'll have afternoon sun. It'll get us up into the 90s. There's storm number one that produced the weather here and then moved up there. That's the current flooding. Storm number two is going to follow right behind and continue more flooding. Now, while we are looking at that cold pocket of stormy weather that's going to create that rain, we're looking at an expansion of an early summer heat wave here. We're looking for places like uh, Atlanta, Jackson, all the way to Dallas, looking at temperatures about five to eight degrees above normal uh, for the week. Uh, all through the weekend. So here's storm number two. It comes out of New Mexico and you can see that in the panhandle we're going to see another round of storms as that front goes through. It looks like it won't be as intense as the last one but nonetheless more rain expected for that area as well and they're still soaked from the last one. So it has been something else in the Midwest. All these storms are way, way, way strong uh, coming in cold from the West Coast like that. So. We are looking at gusty winds up to 30 miles an hour today, getting down to about 20 to 22 over the weekend. That will help out because otherwise getting sand in your sandwich at the beach is not a good thing. Otherwise, uh, sunny, warm and humid. That's your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. It's birthday time. If you know somebody's got a birthday, just give us a shout. Go, go to the website, go to that birthday club tab and upload a photo. Join me in wishing our sunrisers a happy birthday.